Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. As per usual, it's randomizer day, normal settings, nothing has changed, of course, other than me adding the new stuff. Give the spin. Oh boy. This is a stupid one. Mute the in-game music and instead play Oh Crab So Crab on loop. Alright, I, gr I greatly apologize for this one. Uh, actual team itself. Um... I don't know, we've got some Tremor, we've got some Poise. Actually, we have, we've got a fair bit of Tremor, actually. Yeah, three Tremor units, so maybe we can get some Tremor stuff going? I mean, as far as Egos go, we sure do have Egos. Uh, Alright, let me build this team and let me set up the music. This is gonna be something. This is gonna be something else. Alright, um, actually getting into it, though. Um... I genuinely do not remember making, uh, this pre-script on the wheel, or on the randomizer. Like, I don't remember doing it. I mean, I'm sure I did, but like, god. I didn't even remember. Oh yeah, as far as the actual team itself goes, um... Remember, we actually got stupidly good luck with EO gifts. Carmela Sunshine were both a super general, like, use. So, you know, I'll, 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 I'll take that, absolutely, but, uh... I think I'm gonna be sick of this song. It's like a minute long. So we're gonna have to listen to this what like 40, 50. Oh, I accidentally muted all volume instead of just the music, didn't I? There we go. I was like, wait a second, shouldn't there still be sound effects? And yes, there's there should be. There very well should be. We're not playing the game muted with oh crab so crab. Yeah, well, it's very fitting music for just, you know, calm foolery like this. I guess, I don't know. Let's roll that, I suppose. Um, but yeah. I don't know what else to say. The music is like short circuiting my brain, I think. I think it's also too loud, but I'll fix that in post. Um, hopefully. That's fine. It's not like I need to hear anything, anything anyway. Yeah, I genuinely... I think there's something I could talk about. I guess I was going to talk about yesterday's uh, video. Yeah. The, variety, the whole Variety Sunday thing. I think that'll be fun going forwards. I guess we'll have to see, like, for sure. I've got because there's a lot of games that have Project Moon mods, and I mean a lot. Like even if I just didn't do any repeats, I could probably last for like a while on just random Project Moon mods for various things, right? Although I probably will do like some repeats just because you know, play the fire. The mod seems funny. I I only like really got into like the basics of it there, and even I didn't, like I didn't even get past the first floor. It would probably help if I knew how to play through this fire, though, a little bit better. I know vaguely enough, right? And, you know, it was helping me out. I'm not sure if the mistakes I made could have been fixed with the Slay of the I feel like I died to the Abnos a couple... Yeah, I think all three runs, yeah, I did just die to the Abnos card. Which I couldn't have really predicted. I mean, I probably could have predicted what Punishing Bird was going to do, but still. Point still stands. Yeah, it's just one of those mods where, like, so much stuff is going on, it's hard to tell what. Right? But that's cool. I've got a lot of other random ideas. We'll see what I go with. Otis skill, give her another skill three? Sure. Why not? Uh, what else do we want? Boon player, not a bad idea. We've got some wrath skills. And I guess I'll take Chubb in a flask for because might as well. And we press on. We get an event here. Crown of Thorns. Cool. That's rupture. We do not have rupture. Oh, I didn't God, I'm stupid. I forgot to remove that from the screen. My bad. That's probably what I was thinking about this entire time. When I was like, God, I'm trying to think of something, I've got no clue what. It was probably to turn my head slightly to the side, look at OBS, 
and really there's still a huge giant box in the corner. Uh, oh well. My apologies. Okay. Oh? Okay, there's some weird stuttering going on. That's fine. I don't even know if it picked up on OBS, honestly. It might have. I don't know. But yeah. We keep on pressing on. God. This week is going so slowly. God. We just need. We're just, it's, we're just two days away. Two days away from the final part of Canto 6. And it's going to be so peak. So unbelievably peak. Without a doubt. But you know, two days is still a long time to go. It really is. That's fine. We'll get there in time. Oh yeah, I should also probably mention, I'll be streaming- when this video went up, I'm, st I'm currently streaming uh, Law of Corp. Or Library of Ruin it. Same game. Different games, but you know, point still stands. I'm still still using Law of Corp when, in, you know, I've been streaming Ruin for, you know, months now. But, uh... Feel free to join in for that, it's fun. And, you know, I probably won't be playing Oh Crap So Crap on loop during the stream, so if you, you know, get tired of the song, uh, the stream's probably much more bearable. Here, look, a pretty solid floor. Ebony Queen's Apple, too. It's pretty easy. That'll work. Risk encounter, but then we get two events and we'll get the rest stuff. Okay, some end corp guys. Simple enough. Okay. A little bit of an upheaval. Okay, I'm gonna wrath resins here, because why not? It'll be really good once we get Wound Clear Plus Plus, because we might actually be able to get some bleed stuff going. Which is funny. We probably have enough cost to get Wound Clear Plus Plus. Yeah, we should. I don't know how much we have, but it'll probably be enough, right? Okay, you can go to build your skill tree. Love to see it. And the random, the random bleed team could be very funny for this. I guess we just gotta prioritize getting more of like the wrath skills on people. For a lot of people with the skill two, skill three is here. Oh, there's more bleed too, grammar and stake. We've got some single coin stuff like mutilate and whatnot. This is burn, doesn't help us that much, but we'll take it. Because we can sell it, if nothing else, right? Beauty of you, gifts that aren't good, you can just sell them. If there's Wound Cleared plus, plus. And there's Carmilla plus as well, so the enemies just have less HP. Those have another event. Oh, Bound King! I'm gonna be seeing you in two days' time, aren't I? That'll be funny. I'll take the, I'll take the funny. Because why not? But yeah, looking at our wrath. Yeah, a lot of skill 1s, or a lot of skill 2s, a lot of skill 3s. The skill 3 for, with Faust and, um, Ishmael. Giving them more. Actually, it's probably, is it your skill 1? It is your skill 1, but you did skill 1 to skill 3 for you. I just, I just, I just realized we already changed when to play the Neo Jodas' skills. So yeah, that checks out. If there's ever a run to, you know, speed run, it's definitely going to be this one. Because, uh, the music will get to me. We can flash everything, we can attack the fruit a little bit. Get the fruit to explode. Probably should have used- probably should explode the fruit with someone a little bit faster than you know someone with average speed. Okay. Good job, Hong Lu. And more so does Abdi Queen's Apple was having really good luck there. That's fine. Oh, I'm just, I should I should let Ishmael get below half HP. It's been a while since I think I've actually used the Ishmael like like that. And it means they'll probably want to sell prejudice. But that's fine. I'm willing to do that. I don't think we've got anything else for healing here. Unless we were, you know, go for like healing egos like I don't even know if we have any healing egos, no, yeah, because we don't have fluid sack. We've got a lot of very strange egos here to try. Yeah, uh 
Mm, we do have Chef Gregor, though. So he'll be kind of constant healing. That's fine. This isn't a fight to take damage on anyways, because, like, you're weak. Also, you know, for no reason in particular, I'm just going to hover over these for a second so you can see their names. Mm -hmm. In case you didn't know. <laughs> so this is I thought I'd, you know, call out a, a wee bit. Only a wee bit, though, right? No need to call it out a bit m more than a wee bit. Like, I think even, like, a, a tad bit would be a little bit too much, but a wee bit, I think, is good. Bonk. Bat bash. And we got that metallic ring, which is hitting two parts. Uh, it was hitting the fruit alongside the roots, so that's pretty good damage. Faith must be upturned. Any, literally anyone can do this, since we've all got Wrath, especially. And the other person without Wrath is, you know, Ting Tang Hong Lu, who has Mutilate. The, the outcome is fairly obvious. But yeah, we're all, except for Blue Ninjas, we're all faster than you anyway, so we can just kill you. The old-fashioned way. Heartwarming, this company still kills people the old-fashioned way. But there we go, on to floor three. We're, you know, halfway asterisk through this, listening to this song. It's already looped, like, 11 times, I think. Logically. That's something. We'll take Red Order, because we don't want the healing. From Painkiller, if we're gonna try using Shi Ishmael. Okay, top path it is. We're still forced to run, like, a couple more fights before we can sell Prejudice, so... Don't know if I'm gonna bother having Ish I think next fight I'll let Ishmael get hit a bunch. I think that'll be the play. This fight, I mean, these guys also don't do a lot of damage, so I don't... It, would, it might take a fair bit for Ishmael to get staggered and below half this fight, so... That's fine by me. Five healing per turn is all right. We can deal with that, right? If it was something like more healing, that could be bad. The prejudice being 15% healing per fight for one of the lowest AP people. It's a fair bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Get the music kill, so we got to use it again. Nice. Okay, I think there's only one left then. Someone left. Actually, are we using up evil in the last one? Oh, there's two left. Okay. Well, they're almost dead then. So, there's basically none left. If we just do like a- it's some simple dish. Two minus two, that's none. These guys will be reduced to nothing. Reduced to ashes, like me. <laughs> nice. And then another smackdown, if like a lot of bleed with wrath, thanks to wound flared plus plus. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cool. Simple enough fight. Keep on the jump. Alright, these guys also won't do too much damage. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of taking having second doubts on bothering with trying to go for the funny she is male half below half HP thing. Because the five healing per turn from Jeff Gregor will really add up, won't it? Um, I don't know. It definitely would be doable. I guess we're focusing on bleed. We're focusing on skill three, anyways. Which doesn't really... I mean, I think it benefits from being half of half, I guess, but I don't know in what way. Not as much as the skill too, right? If you're focusing on lust, then yeah, of course you want to be below half. The skill too also is really good for the, uh... Oh, it's from... I was like, wait a second, do we have a charge you gift? But no, it's from Wart Ryoshi's passive. That's where he gained this random jar from. Um... We press on. <laughs> Kill that guy. He's both going on a bit of a rampage. And all they got. Cool. 
Like, some of, like I mentioned before, we're gonna head to the shop and try and get more rap skills for one of the people we're using. Like, there's a play. We are not using Rodeon. Smokemar is double bleed infliction, but only with actual normal bleed infliction, aka only Ting Ting Honglu, whose bleed is not good. Also, I embrace that actually the solid idea, though. Rat skills and like Tremor. Mm hmm. And there we go, we can give Ishmael another skill 3. Actually, we're short on money, so we need to sell Prejudice. Yeah, that works. Only else here heals us, so we can give you another skill 3. Alright, and press on. A little bit of lag. Don't know why. What do we want to upgrade here? Could upgrade also in Bracelet. Not a bad idea. If we do want to try going to like the Tremor Wrath thing. Because like I mentioned before, we do have three Tremor units on this team. We've got Base Heath, we've got Regret Faust, and we've got Zweisen Player. Now only one of these is a good Tremor unit, but like, you're decent and you're bad. Right? That's how I look at it at least. Or unleash your violence, why not? It won't be a mass deck, but it doesn't need to. It's still a three coin that's gonna, you know, inflict a bunch of random tremor next turn and a bunch of bleed this turn. Thanks for being wrath. I mean, it's something for tremor count, aka Nixie Diversion that could also help out a bunch, couldn't it? We'll see if I get lucky on that front. Shank is resisted, but it's still gonna kill, of course, because it's well, it's, it's Shank. It does that a lot. Uh, uh, yep, nice. That, bad, that guy is down to 6 HP, so almost dead. And that guy is close to being staggered. Okay. So you're just defending this turn. You're not doing much of anything. You're gonna weaken a little bit with your skill one, and then we've got a couple mutilates going on. Kill with that one, so we get to reuse it on the other guy. And there is gluttony, so I don't know if it'll necessarily kill if it resists. It didn't, but luckily we've got a second mutilate. <laughs> there we go, it's that simple. Victory. Okay, and let's see. What do we want to upgrade here? Moon or not Moon Cleared. Oh, Austin Embrace, alright. More Tremor Potency from Wrath. That's a good idea. But you've got even more if we upgraded again, but we can't afford that. We could upgrade one of these again, but none of them actually help us at all. We're, we're going for this Bleed Tremor Wrath type team. Which is certainly an interesting idea. What a concept. Well, they present it gives one shield per one poise count next turn. Cool. That's uh, gonna be very useful for us with, you know, how much poise we have and how much... Okay, you were max and you got two tails, Heath Cliff. What was, what, what, what was the point there? What was, what was the, what's that about? It's like a little strange, in it, in it, bro, as the Brits say. And Care by Shank's worth going nice. Only one of these guys isn't staggered. Unfortunately, it is the one who got the second slot, so that's rude. We went fun here. The person with the second slot was one of one staggered, but that's fine. We kill with Mutilate, so we get to use it again, and it might just kill one of the stagger people immediately. Okay, definitely not going for this guy if Ishmael's attacking it. It is killing this guy instantly, cool. Oh, that's nice. Kind of takes them down pretty quickly clean and easily. I really hope when we get up by 5, we can make it so Mutilate can trigger multiple times, more than just once, right? Because it's a reuse with a max of once currently. But like up to five, making it so like you can reuse it twice or three times would be a funny bit to do. That that would be like an instant up tie. That'd be fun. Maybe eventually once you reach like up to like seven or something, it, it can become infinite reuse. Would be fun, especially on stuff like if you get lucky against like certain clocks or something, right? Anything that's got a lot of minions. Especially if the damage number can just keep on building up. Okay, we don't have anything for Wrath this turn, that's unfortunate. Save the Shank. You can build up your mass attack. What are you going for? 
Ooh, I see you. Oh, we'll go for the neutral, then that'll work. If you get hit, so be it, right? We're just doing not much of note this turn. Okay. You did get hit, but that's fine. Because the thing about uh, Regret Faust is their skill one win or lose still the same amount of drama, right? So that's it's fairly fine being a bad clash. I should have just defended if I was being smart there. Because then we could have still gained the sixth tremor while still uh not taking reducing damage taken. But it was a neutral, so I figured, you know, there's a chance we win it, right? If it was like an actual bad clash, then I would have defended, of course. I shrink this leg. We might be able to take it down, right? It's potentially possible. You're really not drawing the Wrath stuff much at all, huh? That's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. You got a clash there, neutral, that's fine. You got a clash there, neutral, that's fine. You got to go there, and then you got to go there. All right. Some iffy clashes, that's fine. And we're going to get blood laser next turn, that's fine. How much damage does it do enough? Not quite. Almost. That was like kind of closer to a third than a quarter, though. So, yeah. Makes sense that it didn't go again. That's fine. You take 42 damage from that. That's cool. You're weak to envy, I guess. So, that makes, it makes sense, but... Oh, well. Staggered that leg too, so both the legs are staggered. I don't think they attack at all turn three, anyways. So I don't think it matters. Turn three is like the blood laser turn, I think. Maybe one of them did. I don't know. That's fine. We were losing. We lost half of our clashes this turn. That's okay. This is the turn where we ego you, I guess. You go for that holiday. You need to go for the damage. If you unleash violence, you probably shouldn't, though. Hmm. Pretty funny. You get blood lasered, though, if we don't clash that, then. And I guess we should probably have you clash there, then. Okay, that's fine. We'll land of illusion, yeah. That'll work. And then everyone else, we're just having one side. Get some wrath skills off one-sidedly. Trigger some bleed, potentially. Okay. That was rude. Heathcliff is staggered, and he's got 25 bleed on him now because he got the random tails there. This is why we never trust Holiday. This is why you always run Body Sack, my goat. Body Sack wouldn't have failed there. I don't know if it actually wouldn't have, but you know, it, Body Sack wouldn't roll tails at a crucial moment because it's just too goaded, right? That's how I'm interpreting it. Yeah, at least found two targets, so it'll do some pretty good damage. <laughs> Body's almost staggered, that's cool. The catch breath does stagger the body, so that's cool. And it's, you know, more bleed, so that's also nice. Okay. I think you're so funny going for so many attacks this turn, don't ya? Yeah, you are a little bit funny though. That is, it is pretty funny. So you know, fair enough. Uh, we'll just split flashing the two then, and yeah, suppress the body. We'll just rely on bleed for the body. I think that'll be the best play. This song is melting my brain. Good damage. Wanted to make sure I broke it. Arm, even though it'll still attack and stuff, right? But it's still nice to be broken. Cool. Yeah, that part still has bleed. Interesting. Right foot is bleed. Which part was almost out of bleed? Right leg. Okay. One side it then maybe. Flash with like metallic ringing then. Body's not bothering to attack this turn. That's unfortunate. I think we can live with that though, right? Just gotta wrap up a little bit. You lose these. That's funny. 
lock then, I guess. I don't know. I could ego with you, but I don't think it matters too much. Nice. Those are two targets that are pretty solid. Okay, I forgot Heathcliff was bleeding a little bit too, but that's fine. He didn't have, like, any bleed count on him, so he's, like, out of bleed now, right? More or less. I know, I mean, by more or less, I mean he is out of bleed. Shh. I don't know why I said more or less or something like that, when, when very obviously the answer is yes. Okay, we just do a bad clash against the body and we should win. Where's it with the bad clash? We do not have a lot of three coin attacks. This probably wins. Yeah. Mm hmm. Game probably wins. Alright. Let's just kill you then. We could do the bleed stuff, or we can just kill you. It's a six turn fight. It's a, it's a relatively long. For my standards, it's a long fight. Yeah, Shank just finishes the job, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool beans. On to the final floor we go. It's only 25 minutes, but it feels like it's been an hour. And that's because of the song, I think. It really is the song just ruining, like, my interpretations of time and the like. I'll take Endorphin Kit. Smoke Mars is funny, but once again, it really only applies to, like, King King Hong Lu. Who is just kind of chilling, right? I'd rather get the poise stuff, because we can get some poise stuff going for these two, maybe. Okay, good. Does Endorphin, does Endorphin get fixed by Lineage Otis? Probably not. Maybe like a nebulizer and like some poise, some just more poise stuff in general might do it, but I don't think that alone will be like an, enough, right? I think it hit, honestly, yeah. That works. This is the part where I think I'm gonna let Ishmael take some damage. I think getting a funny skill too could be funny here, right? So we'll just kind of let her HP fall down, at least a little bit here. Maybe, like, we'll try and do it against the boss or something, right? These guys should be able to do decent damage to her, right? Well, you can't counter this turn, that's fine. Get that Wrath Resonance going. Catch your breath. Good stuff. We should be getting a two target skill three off the bat this turn. So that could be good. <laughs> yeah, nice. A lot of bleed and tremor at the same time for both of them, so that's cool. And down they go. So now just you two left. Once again, Ishmael's not going to get the chance to counter, that's alright. He will eventually. For now, I think we're still at a point where Heathcliff is the one getting targeted by Chef Greg or healing, so that's nice. There we go. I guess also, if we, if we do really want to take more damage, we could also just throw our star bunch, because it's 10% of our HP lost each time. That's something, I guess. I don't think it would be a great idea, but it would it would work, that's the main thing, right? Sure, bud. Right. And then we keep on triggering the Zvi-Rodeon passive, and I keep being like, ooh, passive trigger, and then I immediately remember, oh right, it's the Zvi-Rodeon passive that is not going to help us much at all. It could help us to get some- actually, it's gonna hurt us to get shield on Ishmael, isn't it? And we might actually get some shield on Ishmael because she'll be the lowest HP, and she'll be- have, have, she'll have some pride, right? Or some poise. God. That's fine. That's alright. We'll be fine. Let me get a two-target unleash violence once again. Doing a lot of damage. Nice. They're not all dead quite yet this turn, because there's still that fake you guy and one of the mariachi guys. But um they're both they're with atrophy, they're both panicking. You feel them bad. Would be an issue if the Taikyu guy was going for, you know, like the 14 minus 10 scale if he was, you know, this turn. 
but luckily it wasn't, so pretty but big of pretty much a pushover. Yeah, then, like 14 minus 10 is fairly winnable, right? Sometimes. <laughs> if we use like a strong skill, then yeah, we can beat it. Yeah, Pierce attack. This is the last normal fight, so we definitely want Ishmael to take some damage here. So I'll. I don't even have our Arter Blossom Star, that's right, I just remembered, I didn't roll it, I, it didn't, it wasn't an option for the Egos. Okay, you might take some decent damage here. You're neutral to Blunt, and you're weak to Lust, so that's solid. Envy Resonance, why not? Buff the counter's damage, I suppose. Don't really think that that's very necessary, but it'll be something, right? I'm really going for an Unleashed Violence here because, you know, it's fine. Okay, Ishmael has been staggered, so that's good. He's still got another stagger threshold, though. I'm not getting attacked this turn, yeah. We're gonna redirect it, of course. Unless the rightmost person was going for Ishmael, but I, you know, he isn't, quite simply. He's dead anyway, so even if he was going for Ishmael, it wouldn't have that mattered. It wouldn't have added up. <laughs> Fine. Let me let Ishmael take some damage, I suppose. And Ishmael's not going to take more damage this fight unless we, like, really tried hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to make much use of that. That's fine. I want to do, like, a proper she run sometime soon again. It's fun just having a bunch of people low HP, right? Well, I'm mainly just two of them, because I don't really want Dawn to be low HP, because she gets barely a benefit from She just gains haste from being below half from her skill, too. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, but, like, she doesn't have enough to actually warrant being below half a lot of the time. But anyways, last normal fight done. On to the boss we go, once we get through some events and a shop and the rest of the course. Okay, uh, Nebulizer, can we pass this with anyone? We can mutilate you. That's good enough for me. Nebulizer, pain. That's more poise, so we can get more poise stuff going. This is more... This makes the lost attack just, like, burn, which is something, I guess. It also means we're weakened for the boss fight. That's fine. We can live. Bleed synergy. Heath could get another skill too, because it's Wrath. Um, grab Illusory Hunt. I don't think there's anything I... Actually, I kind of do want to upgrade something, don't I? Well, I can at least... I can safely sell, like, you know, Carmilla, Child in the Flask, stuff like that, because it doesn't help us at all at this point. Okay, we press on then. Want to upgrade... I'm gonna upgrade also in Bracelet. I could upgrade Nebulizer or... No. I'll upgrade Nebulizer. I'm gonna upgrade Endorphin Kit. Mmm, nah. This will be a little bit more. Oh yeah, we got lucky, so we were able to actually get a plus plus. That's solid. And we got upgrade Endorphin Kit, too. Why not? Get some poise stuff going. Who's the fight here? Slash and Wrath, so it's either Chromer or it's going to be very long legs. And if it's Chromer, the music's already muted, so haha. It isn't, though. It's very long legs. Okay. We can make you bleed, I think. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. My monitor just turned off, by the way. Uh, I don't know why. It happens sometimes, strangely enough. But I don't need it. I can use OPS. Bonk. 100 damage from that. Pretty nice. It was thanks to the crit mainly, but that's still cool. Mm. Okay, we just only did one hit of that. That's cool. Counter. We, we were countering because we get the tremor count in case you don't know. That's a one way to do it. I don't know if we do this turn. You're a little bit slower this turn, so I might just one-side you a bunch. Get the bleed going, right?
Sure, sounds solid. You might, I mean, if you're mass tagging, you might get hit by the counter, but that's fine. I can live with that. Draw the sword for a bit more bleed. Smackdown for a bit more bleed. Yeah, you got countered, you got staggered things. That's, that's unfortunate. Okay, you lost my class, that's fine. This means this guy's bleeding a bunch, taking some bleed damage. Not like an insane amount yet. Okay, and Ishmael is actually below half, so that's actually solid. We can get our skill too funny now. So it's actually working out, much to my surprise. You're trying to summon the clover, we don't care. This is bleed, so I'll go for it, sure. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. We also got Sun Shower, thanks to that, so that's a scale up. We also staggered the left arm, so you're not going to get a chance to attack this turn. We're still going to get hit by the Clover summoning attack, though, so that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You can just ignore the Clover, so I don't think it's that important to worry about, right? And enemy stem does have bleed on it. Not Wrath, but it's got bleed, so that's good enough. We also crit with it, so that's pretty solid. Okay, we, can get a, we can get a funny flashing strike for you now that you're below half. Yeah, nice. And I've got a brilliant plant just one side you a couple times. Because that's all we really need to do, right? I think so. Acupuncture. I mean, here's here's the funny the four coin flashing strike. Yeah, look at that. It's also a lot of poison gain. Pretty good. We won that clash. That's that's nice. And then we take one sided on on Sinclair, so it's not that big of a deal. Like... We really don't need to do much of anything here. Just, just being, just being honest. Let's attack the clover, because why not? We're not actually going to get a chance to attack the clover, because we're just going to kill instantly when we clash against him, and then attack him with the catch breath. Yeah. And we got some guaranteed crits. Things having so much poise, thanks to her being below half and using her skill too. Nice. There's our victory. Oh, we can, we can, we can mute the music now. We can mute the music now. I can't mute the music. I can. I can. There we go. Finally. No longer have to worry about the, the crab music. Let me remove the prescript too. Okay. That was that was certainly something though. We had a couple more levels, up to level 115. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh shit. And then we can turn the music back on, because it's, it's weird not hearing and the normal music. There we go. That's so much better. You have no idea. Well, Daylight's back in time. Nice. Get Rudy on. Do we get anything special here? We get Dawn. Dawn special in her own way. Um, what do we get here? We can't. Anything special? Nope, nothing. And finally, Wuthering Heights, Butler Faust, and Edgar Family, Harry Gregor Banner. Nothing. All right, one star kind of day. That's cool. I'll take the 12 shards. I'm still doing great on shards. Spent some of the Faust ones that I did outside the, um, whatchamacallit, bygone days. And I'll probably spend a bunch of shards to upset the new egos to some degree. I mean, obviously, I'm going to get Heath to, to max up that soon, or max that as soon as I get it right. But yeah, um,. You know, that was a run. We sure did crab so crab so much, so very much. But anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!